I've watched excerpts of the interview. Okay. And what I saw in that interview was a president who is not willing to accept responsibility for his own mismanagement and the feelings of his government. I saw a president who has lost touch with the realities of his people, a president who has become increasingly intolerant uh, due to, obviously, the intoxication of power. Really? And so, as a Ghanaian... He did an excellent performance defending Ghana at every level. What was level. excellent about what he said in that interview, I felt embarrassed as a Ghanaian watching our president speak that way because all the things he said in that interview were false. And the really? In, uh -huh. Yeah, in the interviewer, the host actually exposed all those um, um, falsehoods that he sought to peddle. And you realize that that ruffled him. And um, as egoistic as he, as he is and as we know him to be, he took offense and started describing some of the questions of the interviewer as provocative when those questions were but very harmless anti. questions. I mean, it's not unexpected that when you're in a banter with somebody over any interview it wasn't, all, a, it wasn't okay. a banter, it was an interview. You understand? It was an engagement uh, and, that required him to And there's respond. a journalist who's yeah. not, who is not from Ghana, who doesn't live here, and who wants to understand why Ghana, which used to be one of the shining examples relative to um, our economic position in Africa, has all of a sudden um, um, seen its economy deteriorating, and why we are performing so terribly, okay, currently. And so one would have expected our president to be honest and to have approached that conversation with a sense of candor and make concessions, okay, relative to his government's mismanagement and recklessness that have brought us here and what they intend to do to bring us out of this bottomless pit they have plunged the country into.